Okay, so what I want to do today is show uh, this XR10 that we're building here at GCM. And we're using two of the Tekin FXR crawler combos. There's a speed control on each side. And we're wiring them onto one battery right here. Our battery is going to fit right inside here and it goes from here all the way to about here and it's a 3 cell 2200. Uh, how do you get the battery in and how do you get it out? Well, that's the easy part because we made up this pin here. So instead of having a nut right here on the end of this screw, there's actually this clip and you just pull it out and then you've got this great little cotter pin can barely see that you got this great little cotter pin and then the screw can just come out like this and then the front arms are loose so you can just move the front arms out of the way like that and put your battery right in there lots of room and then when you're done you just put the arms back in it's kinda like the old battery clips that we used to use years ago so then you put this bolt back in and you can see there's just a tiny little hole in there that we drilled and that'll get the the little clip in the hole and we put this giant wire on the clip so we don't lose it now we're going to talk about how we mixed up the radio gear here this front is the standard servo and then with the two speed controls how do you do that well we're using a six channel hobby king stick radio and we're going to go over here to the computer and have a look at that so this is the radio that we're using. It's a six channel uh, 2.4 Hobby King. These were great, we use them on all the airplanes and all kinds of other stuff. So we've got our steering here on the right. This is a useless channel. And then this is a useless channel and we have the throttle here on the left. So what we ended up doing is inside the radio, we took out the clicker that's usually associated with the throttle on an airplane radio. The little, the little uh, detent clicker is gone and then we added the spring onto the mechanism inside so that it's got this this feel to it again it's a really simple mechanism you just have to the little there's a little uh, C hook in there and you just hook it on to the throttle side instead of one of the other sides and you put the spring back on it's really easy so we're going to show how we mix the channels here and this is how we did it now the great thing about this this uh, 2.4 Hobby King radio is that you can do the full programming right on the computer and actually see with the bars which channel you're using and all the setup options are right here. So for instance our steering, when I move the stick, have a look, I move the stick and you can see it right on the screen right there. So when I want to go right and I can look at it on the screen and say oh yeah that's how much of the stick I'm using. So when you set your endpoints, for instance you can set your endpoints on the on the menus here and then when you go right stick you can go all the way to the end or you can set your your set to a 90% or 30% or 120% or whatever you want for the end this is a really cool feature that you can see it right on the radio so the truck has nothing is not even on right now we're just using the, this through the hobby king programming now if you see the throttle here what we did is we created a mix so that the throttle stick is actually moving two channels at once. It's moving the right, the channel two and the channel three at the same time. So you can see over here this stick is doing nothing right now because we've got the switches here on the top of the Hobby King radio that we can use to control when the mixes are coming in. So right now this stick does nothing except for the steering. It doesn't do any up and down at all. All the stick does is the steering. But this stick is doing forward and reverse for both speed controls. You see that on the left? Yeah, so we're mixing that with both speed controls. Now, that's on this mix here. So if I turn this off, now this mix is only doing the front speed control. You see that on the screen? I've I'm only moving one channel now with the throttle stick. This stick is still useless, so right now I've got a dig. I've got a front ESC control, and I've got no ESC control in the back nothing's happening so now if I turn on this mix now I've enabled the stick on the right so now I've got the rear see that on the screen channel 2 is now moving so I've got control of the rear ESC on the right stick and I have control of the left ESC or the front ESC on the left stick 
So now I have two separate channels for two separate speed controls and I can control the front or the rear separately using these sticks. Now I can disable this stick here by turning off this mix. So now this rear has no control whatsoever and I can choose not to use it and still use the front and have a dig. Or I can turn on my dual ESC mix and as you can see on the screen I've got the front and the rear ESC working together. Now instead of mixing them in at 100% I mix them in so the front is a little bit overdriving because we're using the Tekin FXR 55 turn combos with a 13 tooth pinion gear. So I wanted to overdrive the front but I have the same pinion in the front and the back. So instead I mixed it on the screen and you can see when I get the full stick I've actually got a little more ESC going on on the one than I do on the other. And that's easy to mix because when you go into the mixing menus We'll just show you here. If I go into the mixing menus, I'm controlling three with two. Okay, so the source is three. I can pick any channel I want, so I'm going to use three. And then my destination channel is channel two. And I have them set in as an up and down rate at 100%. And this, the switch that operates that mix is B. Okay, so that's already in there. And then when you set up the endpoints, the, e the uh, exponential for that channel, you can lower the exponential on one of the channels, like what you see here. Number three is actually lower than number two. So I can overdrive the front by lowering the exponential on one channel, which would be the rear ESC. So I'm always overdriving the front a little bit. The cool thing about this is if I enable the back stick, and I'm still driving with the dual with the dual ESC on the left stick. Now let's say I'm climbing a hill like this and I feel like oh I need to slow down the back end a bit. Well I can just lower, see that on the screen? Even though I'm driving both ESCs with the left stick, I can lower the power on the rear ESC just by pulling the stick back. That's really handy. And if you're going at a real slow clip and the back is kind of trailing behind like the old clawed drag that they used to do with the one ESC, you can actually push the right ESC up a bit and actually overdrive the rear a little bit. See that on the screen? So this thing with the two, two sticks and the mix is just really handy.